The Toronto Blue Jays hosting the New York Yankees. Both of these teams are minus 110 on the money line right now. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half are plus 162, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. The Blue Jays getting a run and a half are minus 195, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Talion has pitched five times so far this year against the Blue Jays. Five innings, two runs, two earned. They lost that game 3 nothing. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won that game 9-1 to one in Toronto. Five and a third, one run, one earned. They won 5-3 in New York. Five and two thirds, no runs, no earned. They won that game 4 nothing in Toronto. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game 4 to nothing in New York. Berrios has pitched three times against the Yankees this year. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They won 6-4 in New York. Five and a third, five runs, five earned. They've lost 5-3 also in New York. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 9-2 in New York. So he is yet to pitch against the Yankees in Toronto. The Yankees are on a one-game losing streak. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10, 38-37 and 37 on the road, 69-84 and 84 on the run line overall, and 33-42 and 42 on the run line on the road. They are 6-4 and four as a team in Talion's last 10 starts. They're av- he's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched in his last 10 and 4.8 strikeouts per game in his last 10 games, so almost a strikeout an inning. The Blue Jays are on a three-game winning streak. They're 6-4 and four in their last 10, 44-32 and 32 at home, 69-85 and 85 on the run line overall, and 29-47 and 47 on the run line at home. They are 7-3 and three as a team in Berrios' last 10 starts. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched in his last 10 and 3.7 strikeouts per game in his last 10 games, so not a big strikeout machine. Head-to-head, the home team's on a two-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is 7-3. and three. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under has hit in their last four games. The over-under at 7.5 and is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under just in general is 5-5. Five and five. I'm going to take the Blue Jays with the money line, the Blue Jays getting the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game and hope that Judge actually hits his 61st home run if they're not afraid to pitch to him. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.